Here with head baseball coach of the Raging Cajuns, Tony Robichaux. And coach, thanks for your time. Your initial reaction when you heard about uh, the events of Thursday night? Well, the, the big thing is, you know, I have three children myself and we also have uh, five grandchildren. So, so you know, and they, and they go to the movies. They, they do things throughout the city. So it, it was a shock. And the first thing you have to start doing really is just to start praying. You know, some of the kids that were interviewed were very good friends with them when they showed the back line of, of the mayor and, and the, the governor speaking and everything, one of our former players was in uniform right there in that line, J.B. Slayton with the state troopers. So it's, it's a lot closer to, to everybody than what most people think. You, you do see this on a national stage. You, you see it and you go, oh, you know, that, that wouldn't happen here. And then all of a sudden it happens here. I mean, how, how, do, how do we wrap our heads around that as a community? Well, I think the biggest thing is that, you know, our big challenge that we got to continue to stay focused on no matter where it occurs. The bottom line is, is this week, you know, three mothers and fathers will bury a child. Um, three sets of siblings are going to have lost a brother or a sister. And I watched my parents um, bury a child. I lost a brother and I know the pain and the heartache and the void that's left behind when you watch your mother and father bury a child. And so there's only two things you can do as, as, a, as a family and, and as a community, I think, is prayer and forgiveness. Those are the two things that we've got to stay focused on throughout this. As a coach, you give speeches all the time to, to your players, to your different teams, and you've done that for uh, your whole career. As a, as a leader of a family, how do you uh, approach this issue? Well, I think you can't bury it. I, I think you have to make sure that you keep everything, all the facts and everything on, on top of the table. I think that's the best thing. And then you have to make sure that they understand that in this time, it's hard to get full answers, to, but, the, but the biggest thing you've got to lean on is you've got to lean on prayer and forgiveness. I mean, people need to pray. They need to know how widespread the prayer is for them. Uh, and then the forgiveness part of it, because, you know, the good Lord's clear. He says that if we can't forgive, he won't forgive. And so you're not getting going to get all kind of clear answers in life all the time. But the one clear thing that you do get out of this is you got to pray and we got to forgive. And I think the more that they know our community's praying for them, uh, I know it helped my parents through it when they had to go through it. And I asked her one day, what piece of advice would you give to another mother and a father now that you buried a child? And she said to go day by day and, and to try to pray and to try to forgive. And we've always known that this is a great place to live. We, that's why we've set up shop here, sure. so to speak. Um, but what has this shown you and maybe other people uh, in the nation about our community here? Well, you know, I've gotten so many texts and phone calls from all over the country, you know, making sure that I was okay, making sure my family was okay and everything. And so uh, the big thing about our community that I love about this place, that's what's kept us here is the, the Cajun culture is, is so family oriented. And uh, I think you'll see so much good uh, come out of something that was so tragic with all the prayer and everybody coming together. And then uh, the great motto that I tell our players all the time about this community is we have a kind of a motto that if you mess with one of us, you know, you get all of us. And so I think that's the greatest part about this community and this culture. Coach, thanks for the time. Appreciate it. And, uh, and we know we'll, uh, we'll continue to hear good things about this community and look forward to uh, the, the, the regrowth and the regeneration of, uh, of, this, of this community during this tragedy.